Hey, HSE study family, imagine you're in a metal fabrication shop and a pile of magnesium shavings catches fire. It's not like any fire you've seen, bright, intense, and water makes it explode. Do you know which extinguisher to grab? Plasti fires are rare, but deadly, and using the wrong tool can turn a spark into a catastrophe. Stick with me, because today we're diving into fire classification and mastering type D fire extinguishers to keep you safe. Welcome back to HSE Study for your ultimate guide on fire classification and fire extinguishers. Metal fires are some of the trickiest hazards out there, but with the right safety training, you can handle them like a pro. We've already covered type A for wood and paper, type B for flammable liquids, and type C for electrical fires. Now, we're tackling type D extinguishers, your go-to for combustible metal fires. This isn't just about passing an OSHA training quiz, it's about saving lives in high-risk workplaces. And don't worry, we'll cover Type K fires next, so hit that subscribe button to stay ready. Let's get serious. Class D fires are a whole different beast. OSHA reports thousands of workplace fires every year in the US. And while metal fires are less common, they're a major risk in industries like manufacturing, aerospace, and metalworking. The problem? Most workers aren't trained to handle them. Picture this. Someone sees flames on a pile of titanium dust and grabs a water extinguisher. Big mistake. Water reacts with burning metals, causing explosions or toxic fumes. Without proper hazard recognition, workers panic or make deadly errors. I've heard stories that hit hard. A welder who lost his shop because no one knew how to fight a magnesium fire. Or a factory fire that spread because workers used the wrong extinguisher. These aren't just incidents. They're real people, real livelihoods. Getting this wrong can cause severe injuries, massive property damage, and OSHA violations that shut down operations. That's why mastering Type D extinguishers is critical for workplace safety in high-risk settings. So, let's break it down. Fires are split into five classes based on what's burning, and knowing these is the key to accident prevention. Class A is ordinary combustibles like wood and paper, Class B is flammable liquids like gasoline, Class C is electrical fires, and Class D is combustible metals. Think magnesium, titanium, aluminum, or sodium. Class K, which we'll cover next, is for kitchen fires with cooking oils. Class D fires are rare but dangerous because metals burn at insanely high temperatures, sometimes over 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and they react violently with water, foam, or even some chemicals. Using the wrong extinguisher can make the fire worse or release toxic gases. Today, we're focusing on Class D because these fires require specialized tools and knowledge to keep you safe. Now, let's talk Type D fire extinguishers, your lifeline for combustible metal fires. These extinguishers are filled with dry powder agents, like sodium chloride or copper-based powders, designed to smother metal fires without reacting with them. They work by forming a crust over the burning metal, cutting off oxygen and stopping the fire spread. You'll spot them by the yellow star symbol with a letter D on the extinguisher label. Always check for it. Unlike type A, B, or C extinguishers, type D is specific to metals, and each powder is tailored to certain metals, like sodium chloride for magnesium or copper powder for lithium. Here's the critical part. Never use water, foam, or CO2 on a Class D fire. Water causes explosions, and other agents can spread the fire or create toxic fumes. Hazard recognition is everything. Confirm it's a metal fire before you act, and know which metals are on your site. Let me share a story that shows how this saves lives. In a Michigan factory, a pile of aluminum dust caught fire during a grinding job. A worker named Carlos, who just completed his OSHA training, stayed calm. He recognized the bright, white-hot flames as a Class D fire. He grabbed a Type D dry powder extinguisher, checked the yellow D star, and used the pass technique. Pull the pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the trigger, sweep side to side. The powder smothered the fire, forming a crust that stopped it cold. No injuries, minimal damage, and the factory was back online the same day. Carlos's team called him a legend, and the company praised his quick thinking. The secret? Their site had a safety culture. Regular drills, clear signage for Type D extinguishers, and training on metal fire risks. That's the kind of workplace we need, where everyone's prepared for the worst. Let's get practical, because I want you to feel like a fire safety expert. First, always check the extinguisher's label for that yellow D-star before using it. Don't assume. Second, know where your Type D extinguishers are. 
OSHA requires them near areas with combustible metals, like welding or grinding stations, so map them out on your site. Third, use the pass technique. Pull the pin to unlock, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the handle, and sweep side to side to spread the powder evenly. Stand six to 10 feet back to avoid heat and fumes, and apply the powder slowly to build that crust. If the fire's too big, or you're not sure about the metal type, don't risk it. Evacuate and call 911. Safety training means knowing when to walk away. And one more thing, check your extinguishers regularly. A clogged nozzle or empty canister is useless in a crisis. Here's the bottom line. Mastering Type D fire extinguishers is a must for workplace safety in high-risk industries. Metal fires are rare but catastrophic, and they need specialized tools to stop them. We've covered types A, B, and C, and now Type D is in your arsenal. Next up, we're tackling Class K fires, those greasy kitchen fires. So subscribe now to keep learning. Let's build a culture where every worker knows their fire types and acts fast. So, HSE study family, what's your best tip for handling metal fires? Ever seen a Class D fire up close? Drop it in the comments, I'm reading every one. If this video fired you up, smash that like button and share it with your crew. Let's keep learning, stay safe, and make every workplace fireproof.